Hey everybody, Constipated Burrito Cage back with more Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. Last time we beat the New Century Zero tournament, and this time we're going to start mission mode. I'm going to start a new game. You can pick either Republic or Empire. I'm going to be doing both. I'm going to pick Republic first. And so this is like the story mode of the game. It's actually pretty cool. Planet Z, a world where people and metal transformers called Zoids live together. They're transformers? I did not know that. Two great forces with Zoids have been at war with each other, the Republic and the Empire. Many wars have been recorded in their history. The Zoids and Zoids have been evolved each time by people. The world braces itself as the war spreads and new battles are fought. Battles that will not be recorded. Blue Unicorn of the Republic, an experimental battle team with experimental vessels. The team members become MIAs during a special mission. At the same time as their disappearance, a nearby Imperial base was attacked and destroyed by unknown Zoids. Was this an act of the missing Blue Unicorn team? Shoma, a new recruit, is selected to join the Blue Unicorn team. His first task is to search for the missing team members. This is all the data on the missing Blue Unicorn team. Right before their disappearance, we received one of the their periodic reports from the Imperial Outpost. Then there's no choice but to go to the Imperial Outpost and check this out myself. Sorry, I couldn't be much help to you. Good luck on your first combat. I really appreciate it. Shoma leaves the Imperial Outpost where this blue unicorn team disappeared. So, that's the Imperial Outpost. It must have been a fierce battle. So much damage here. I wonder if Heavy Zoid, if, if heavy Zoid combat did this. Something's on the radar. As the wait is approaching. Haven't escaped haven't escaped yet. How dare you, Imperial Force? Haven't escaped yet? What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> it's only a rookie. A duckling just hatching from an egg. A duckling? I will teach you what a battle is so that you won't forget. How dare you? I'll teach you. So those are the two sort of mainish characters, I guess. Uh, so it gives you new supplies for each battle. Um, here you come from the get-go, we have... You start off with two Zoids, you start with a Command Wolf and a Cannon Tortoise. And uh, here, I'm, I'm just gonna be the Command Wolf, and let's change the color. And, it's the only weapon I have for it, do I have a booster for it? I have a shield for it, that works. And, uh, sure, let's give it armor. Um... But map info, it's, it's sort of a good idea to check the map info for this, for this is mission one, who is it? Uh, Imperial development base, search the Imperial base where the blue unicorn disappeared. The base is destroyed, but enemy zoids have been spotted there. Victory conditions, total destruction to enemy zoids. Defeat conditions, heavy damage to your zoids. Uh, so it's got you, enemy moves fast, they might be fighting they might be fight behind you during close range combats. Oh, they might be right behind you, sorry. And then the enemy is an attack cat or So let's start the battle. But you should it's really important that you check the mission objective because it'll tell you how to beat it. Because sometimes it's not as simple as just defeat the enemy. Sometimes you gotta do other stuff. So Let's get this battle started. So, uh... You, this is like the, uh, battle, but this is fought from both sides, depending on which one you start in. It'll, it'll be on the Imperial side fighting Shoma and his Command Wolf, if you do it, if you start as Empire. And on this one, you're fighting, uh, Kuki in his attack cat Nor. And let's just take him out. Uh, come on. He has made like no attempts to attack me. And he's calling me a rookie. This is sort of a rookie mistake to just stand and shoot, but you know, it's working. So that's why I'm doing it. Oh. And he is almost dead. 
Don't worry, missions get more exciting than this. They're not always this dull. Alright, he's been knocked down. Gotta wait a second. Um, Come on, just die already. Mission number mode actually gets somewhat difficult as you go through it. I'm going to apologize now for, like, butchering words or whatever, or just not doing good narration uh, during the cutscene, I guess. And there we go. Mission complete. That only took, like, a few minutes. Okay. And there's a cutscene in between each mission. Rats, he got my joint area. Decreasing power. Is it the generator? Assessing each other with a glaring eye, they leave the outpost. Shoma stops an ally base for repair and supplies, and he encounters a Zoe he's never seen before. Phew, finally repaired, but... Hey, what kind of Zoid is that being repaired? I've never seen it before. It's a new version... It's, it's a new version, yet it looks classic. The Imperial forces are attacking. What? What in the heck? Hey you, get in a Zoid and defend the base. The second battery is returning to help us. You need... You need to buy us some time till they return. We're counting on you. Destroy five Zoids and we'll be grateful. I have to go with the intention of getting them all. Or, I have to go with the intention of getting them all. Uh, let's see. So, we gain some new guns, some new subparts, and some new, uh, other stuff. But, here we have... See, victory conditions for this is destruction of five or more enemy zoids. Usually, uh, losing conditions are the same for most of them. Oh, so we've got we weapon binders of good, and we're gonna put the boosters on. Um, sure, more sub parts are always good. What was I saying before that? I don't know. But yeah, we gotta kill five zoids, and usually the defeat conditions are you die. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's. Start going for this. Weapon binder is a cool weapon because it shoots a normal attack plus it shoots a uh, what do we call it? A uh, homing attack. Damn. So we get sea strikers. Let's shoot it down. As far as mission modes go, I think that the Republic is actually the harder. And, oh crap. We got the big boy coming. Saber Tiger. Let's just start killing stuff. So, okay, we're gonna kill the Saber Tiger next, apparently. Or Saber Fang, sorry. Usually referred to Saber Tigers in the anime. And that is, uh... If you're on the Empire side, then you get that Zoid. I think Empire side, you start out with, uh... Alright, well, the Saber Fang died. But you start out with... Or you... You start out with the Attack Cat and I think I'm Olga. I don't know. Sort of useless Zoids. But whatever, that's not important. This is what's important, is that we kill this guy. Sea Strikers are really not too much of an issue. Especially with the Weapon Binder is really good. And... Here we have another one over here. Booster is quite helpful for this. Just for moving around, you know? And I haven't, I haven't, I don't think I've taken time to explain subparts yet. Subparts, there's multiple types of them. There's, they all just improve your stats. They improve your radar meter, your, uh, 
your attack power, your defensive powers, your mobility, your turning, um, all sorts of stuff like that. Something odd about Zoids is that they have no attack or defense power. So any so it automatically starts with zero, and you can just boost them with the attack and stuff. Uh, turning is a really good one to have boosted. I think that I'll be playing later on my one where I have the Ultra Z's, which are the... They boost everything, and they're just amazing. I mean, I, I always took for granted, like, turning and stuff until I had those, and then just, like, boost my turning through the roof. And is that five Zoids I killed? Yeah, I've killed... Yeah, I think that's five Zoids. Perfect. Mission Bam! Mission complete. Uh, I should have time for another mission. What cutscene first. Oh, finally, they're back. When the second battery turns, the Imperial Force has already redrawn. Seems like the Imperial Force was trying to get this Zoid. So, that's... So, you're that Shoma. What? I was told a while ago that a warrior was looking for me. Cor Corporal Tita? How do you d how do you do, Shoma? Everyone at the base was a was in panic because we couldn't contact you. What happened? We were scouting out the Imperial base while testing out impro our improved Zoids, only to find the base in the midst of a battle. The worst part was the mixed team of Empire and Republican warriors. We got sucked into the battle. Zan got separated from us. So much has happened, it's too much. Huh? That's Zoid. I heard that it was found at the Republic Empire border during a re reconnaissance mission. The Zoid's design is very old. Those attackers seem to be aiming at this one. Its name is or it seems to be marked Cyclops. Are you the blue unicorn team? Yes, we are. What can we do for you? The Imperial Force may return any time. Sorry to bother you, but can you train the Cyclops to an airbase? Request accepted. Shoma, get ready. Yes, Corporal. I'll be honored. After loading the Cyclops Zoid on a hover cargo, Shoma and Corporal T to leave the transport mission. Leave on a transport mission. We'll be arriving at the airport soon. Airbase soon. I hope nothing happens before we get there. Sorry to inform you, Corporal. The Imperial Force is on our radar. Shoma, we're fighting back. Protect the hover cargo! little further, and our escort teams will be waiting for us. Until then, don't let the enemy come close to the hover cargo. Roger, I'll protect the hover cargo. Okay, hover cargo is a giant snail-looking zoid, and it holds stuff inside of it. So, what do we got? We got some new weapons and some new subparts. Um, let's, let's put on more subparts. And, yeah, let's get one half. Let's see. Um, I think that this one is actually really good for this battle. Um, do we have a new character yet? Nope, we don't. But, let's check the mission. Mission 3, Guard. Show me Corporal Teeter. Steve orders to transfer the Cyclops Zoid to an airbase. Protect the transporter. Victory conditions. Protect the transporter to safety. Defeat conditions. Heavy, tr heavy damage to your transporter. So there's going to be Mulgas and Sea Strikers attacking you. Not nothing too difficult. It should be quite easy to take this out. But the thing about it is, you it takes a bit for the hover cargo to get okay, to go. the base because you can see up in the map corner there's sort of like a road-looking thing where it's this black space. Uh, that's where the hover cargo has to make it all the way down that. And, uh, luckily the hover cargo has a sh lot of health, and these other zoids do not. Right. Attack the one closer to me. Thank you. Plus you can also if you if you die then you fail the mission. Makes sense, you know? Because then you can't come 
you can't protect, you can't do what your mission objective was. But all these Zoids are extremely weak, luckily. So they're just really easy pickings. Super easy for you to take out. The fact is that there's just a lot of them. Plus they, they all have uh, homing missile attacks. You can attack the hover cargo too, but if you touch the hover cargo then you get sort of knocked back. It's unfortunate, there's never a mission where you get to be the one destroying the hover cargo. Which I would love to do one of those missions. No, never mind. You don't get knocked back by it because it's on your team. Can you ride on it? Okay. It can't attack you. <laughs> if you try and jump on it, it will attack you. But yeah, there's always... On both sides, there's ones where you have to protect the hover cargo. Okay, where are you at? But you never get to be the one destroying it. It sucks. Let's take this guy out. There's sort of like big packs of enemies at some points, and then at other points there's small little groups, or just none at all. And I hate Olgas. Olgas are just annoying. They're just not cool looking, you know? Sea Strikers are okay looking, but they suck. The Mulgas are just straight useless most of the time. There was actually a mission where they become really annoying. See, there's another Zoid out here. I actually don't think I'm going to have to worry about this one. Because the Hover Cargo should make it to the base by now. Yeah, it made it. Oh, not yet. Almost made it. But that mulga is not going to get here fast enough to be anything to worry about, I don't think. Right. say if I killed that already damn and that's the way it's weak I used to always favor shields as my option for stuff but I've switched I've switched around to the booster side if I can I will put his booster on each Zoid I have Except for one of my things I have on the Fuser Dragon that you saw in episode 1 is the only one I have. I have an optic camouflage on it, just for strategy purposes of my old strategy, you know. But that's not important. Okay. Phew, we barely succeeded. Well done, Shoma. Shoma and Corporal T to escape from the Empire's attack and arrived at the airbase. They delivered Cyclops safe safely. Then, in addition to the, their task of searching for other members, the two successfully get inside the Imperial base, allowing them to follow the mysterious Zoid team. Then I am hearing that you'll first go after the Zoids before searching for other members. Yes, Zen and the team leader are probably going after them too. I believe that we'll eventually find one another if we keep following the Zoids. Roger that. Please be safe. Roger. Thank you. Corporal Tita, look. Imperial Zoids are on the radar scope. But it doesn't look right. The Imperial vessels are shooting at one another. 
It seems like one side is the Imperial Forces, but the other side is those Mysterious Zoids. Who is fighting against the Mysterious Zoids? Is that the Row Tiger team? Do you know them? I used to. It's Row Tiger, a, sp a special mission team. Does this mean the enemies are those guys? I haven't been able to confirm their identities. So, uh, let's get closer. Let's go on the other side of the valley. We can shoot from there. Uh, you have option these. A, help Row Tiger. B, now is a chance to destroy them both. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pick B on this. Uh, the situation is not clear. Maybe we should decide that they are both enemies. Shoot them both. Row Tiger, let's make... Or, Roger. Let's make them all unuseful. But, depending on which one you pick, you will get different zoids and weapons. But the... Uh... The mission will typically be harder. See, this time I got the Snipe Master and the Gun Sniper. You don't get the Gun Sniper in Mission A. So I, I tend to pick Mission Bs because they're easier, or because you get better zoids. But uh, that, that's all we're going to be able to play for now. And I was on this file. Uh, so if you like what you saw, Please subscribe to my videos, it would be very appreciated. And until next time, this has been Constipated Brutal Cage. Peace out, and have a great day. Bye, people.